Hello, and thank you for contacting the service desk. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be showing everyone how to share your mailbox with another user in Outlook on Exchange. Uh, we often run into situations where we need somebody else to be able to access our inbox. Maybe we have an assistant, or maybe we want to share our mailbox with other members of our team, or maybe we have some other reason that we want to provide access to our mailbox, or maybe just to a calendar. In Outlook, we call that assigning delegate rights to other users. It's pretty simple to do, and if you follow along with me, I'll show you exactly how to do that. First thing you want to do is open up Outlook and then go over and navigate to the File tab. Click the Account Settings button and click Delegate Access from the pop-out menu. Click the Add button on the Delegates window and type the last name of the person that you want to add. In this case, I'm going to add my colleague David Wolf. I'll just type Wolf and I'll select David from the list by double clicking on him. You'll see his name is populated down here in the field next to the add button. Click OK and then the delegate permission window is going to open up. From here we can assign what we want to give David access to and his level of access. I want to make him an editor of my calendar and it, right here it'll tell you exactly what he can do. He can read, create, and modify items. I also want to give him access to my inbox. I'm going to make him a reviewer in this case. I just want him to be able to read items. I don't want him to be able to delete anything or move them to other folders. That's all we're going to give him access to for right now, but you can go through the list here and you can select what you want to give access to, and you can assign the level of access that you want the person to have. The descriptions are right next to it. This is super convenient. I love that they've done these little explanations next to the access level. Click OK once you've finished doing that, and you'll see that David's name has popped up in the, in the list here. We can also remove somebody if we want to while we're here by selecting their name and clicking remove. Or if we've added the wrong person, we can remove it and we can go back to the add button and pick up where we left off there. I'm going to click OK on this window. It's going to think about things for a minute. It's going to talk to the Exchange server and make sure that those rights are assigned. And that's it. We've assigned David access to our mailbox and to our calendar. Now, David will have to add my mailbox into his Outlook in order to be able to access both of those things, both the inbox and the calendar. Um, the, we have another video for that that you can check out called Adding Additional Mailboxes to Outlook. You can reference that. Um, so if you give somebody access to your inbox or calendar or other items, you can then send them a link to that video. I'll put a link down in the description, and they'll be able to add your mailbox into their Outlook so that they can access the items that you've shared with them. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need any further assistance, please reach out to the service desk. You can find our number on the company intranet site. You can feel free to give us a call or send us an email or even reach out to us on our interactive chat. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.